for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ball game that moves with a series of using these tools up here. We're actually going to just stick with these over here. We're going to open up this toolbar. So you're going to go over to View, Toolbars. You want it MS Physics Joints. Make sure the joints is on. So this is going to deal with this over here, just kind of these four things right over here. So again, to start off with, we're going to make a floor. It is good to start off kind of around the sides of the person, because you'll see when we make the hinges, the hinges scale in size to the person. You can always change the size of the, of the hinges, but it's just kind of good practice. All right, so I'm going to take all this. Actually, before I make it into a group, um, I am going to just do a little bit more with it. Get rid of her now. I'm going to make some walls, so just like you did with the houses. I'm going to make some walls. And I'm going to lift those up like that. Okay. Now I have some sides to this. So in order for this to work, so when I put things in it, they don't want to float up. For this to work properly, I'm going to choose all of it. Double, triple click, right click. I'm going to make a group. Now I am going to go over here and I'm going to do the shape as static mesh. If I do the shape static mesh, then I do not have to change the state because when this shape is static mesh, that does mean do not move. So now because I've made that the static mesh, I can go when I put a ball in it and I'm pressing, if I was going like this or something weird, I'm going to press the control. Again, backwards, under, forward, over. There's my ball. And I'm going to press play. And this rolls around in there quite nicely. All right, so now for the new stuff. We are going to start off making a hinge joint. I'm going to start off with this just regular shape. I am going to like that. So here we go. I have like a little box thing like that. Okay, so if I go, this is now an item. You can move that around. Now, the thing with a hinge, especially in this situation, I'll, I'll show you. Is you're gonna have, we're going to lift it up a little bit, but we'll do that in a second. All right, so these are the different joints. This is the, for this video, we're going to use the hinge, the motor, and the servo. Just be careful not to confuse them. They look a lot alike. So you have to, you want to, you want to kind of just rest on top of them, and I'll tell you what it is. The hinge, I'll show you that one first. So we're going to put a hinge. You're going to click on a corner. You first, you choose whatever you want to hinge. Your joint, you want to hinge. I'm going to click on here, or I, I click in the middle of anywhere I want in the middle. And I'm going to go straight up for this one because I want it to go in the blue direction. Right? If I wanted it to go this way, I would go green. Or if I want it this way, it could go. But I want the hinge to go like I want it here because I want it to go around like that. So if you get kind of a good look at it, you can see that it's kind of going closer for you. You can see that it's right like that. So it's going straight up and down. Okay. So I'll show that one more time. Okay, because that we're closer. All right, so I take this on here and I lift it up. And I do not want the red direction. I want the blue. So I'm going to use my up arrow. There we go. It's scroll. It's easy to scroll around so you can find it. A hinge right there we go okay so now i need to connect the hinge to the shape this is a group the way you do that is you use this funny looking thing over here but if you if you pause over it it does say joint connection tool so just a reminder if you forget so you go in the joint connector tool click on there see the little green arrow click on the joint you press control you have to press control and the little plus, the little plus comes up next to it and you choose that. Okay, and I'm going to undo it. Now I'll show you what happens. You press play. It might be too much friction, but it should work. Yes. So it does work. It doesn't work great just because of the friction. So the way to fix that, you click on here and then I'm going to lift this up just a smidgen, just so it's not touching the ground. 
Again, it's in the blue direction, kind of like there. So now when I press play, it spins a lot better because it's not touching the ground. I've lifted it up just a bit. So it's no longer actually on the ground. So it's kind of above the ground. Can't quite see, I don't think. All right, so now that's the hinge joint. So another joint that's very useful is the one next to it. That's the motor. So for the motor joint, what you can do is you can make something again very similar. Something like that. Up. And here we go. Now for this one, and we're going to hover over it. That's the motor. It's a different joint. It does look alike, so be careful. This is the motor. So I'm going to do this. Again, I'm going to put up in the blue direction, like that. And now I'm going to use my joint connector here. Press and control, do a little plus. There we go. And when I press play, it's just going to go around and around and around and around. That's just what it does. If I wanted to go in the other direction, what I can do is I'm actually just going to copy this. Right there. If I want, you cannot, by the way, you cannot copy a joint. It will not work, but you can copy the, the parts. So if I wanted to go in the other direction, I'd take my motor joint. And instead of pulling up in the blue direction, I would go down in the blue direction. Now I have our motor joint, and if we go closer, you can see by the arrows that it's actually telling you which direction it's going to go in. So this one is going to go this way, and this one is going to go that way, and they're going to smash into each other. Let's see how this goes. Oops. Oh, all right. Apparently, you cannot copy something once it's in there. So let's just do this over again. We start from scratch. You cannot copy the shape. It's a little further away. Here, here, here. Let's put this motor joint underneath that. And then joint connector, joint control piece. And there we go. Two different directions. This one's going this way. This one's going that way. Again, I did that by pulling my joint either up or down, depending upon how I put them in. Okay, so now we have used the hinge and the motor. So the third one that we're going to use for this is the servo. That one's very handy because that one you actually have complete control over that one. We're going to do put over here, here, again, make that a little thingy like that. And for this, we're going to put the servo joint right here, going straight up in the blue direction. Again, if I went this way, just put one way this way, going to go clockwise, counterclockwise, down clockwise. You can just kind of experiment with that. Okay, and I go over here, and I do my joint connector here, control, and here. And then I press play, and you can see nothing happens. This one needs to be pushed. These go automatically because they're a motor. This one is actually kind of a fun one. This one you actually have to make a controller for. This is a whole new thing over here. We do need this. This is the UI. So this needs to be turned on to be able to control. This actually controls all of your joints and actually all of your items in this. You're gonna go over here, you're gonna press on the servo joint. You're going to press UI. And see right here where it says generate slider controller? Turn that on. Now it says slider right over here. Okay, so now when you press play, you get this little slider over here and you can control it. You can control your servo which works fine when hit the wall, got a little funky. You don't want to do that. Reset it to there. All right, so you can have that going like that. So those are your different joints. I'm actually going to show you with the UI, you can control all of your joints. If you want to control the motor joint, you click on the motor joint. You don't have to do this ever, but if it's something that interests you, you totally can get into this. There's, there's like endless things you can do over here. You can have this go much faster, so you can have this go five. And then, let's see, that'll work. 
See how much fast it's going now? So that's something to play with. There's these endless things we won't get into right now. But these are your three rotating joints, your hinge, your motor, and your servo. So you can make yourself a little ball game in here if you want. And don't forget, if you want to put in a hole for the ball to fall through, just triple click. And then make a circle like that. And make sure this is selected. And then you're going to push pull that down. If you want to put a hole somehow for this game. Remember, you have to make sure that this is, because it's already been static mesh, it'll work. So that should work just fine like that. I think we're good. Um, oh, yeah, one last thing. Say you wanted uh, something that was more complicated than just the stick, to kind of to rotate or to move on a hinge. What you have to do is you go like this, and then you would make another thing kind of over here. Put that up to here. I'm going to take this. Basically, you have a bunch, kind of like the box, you have a bunch of different items together. Now, we can take these and make and group these together. I'm going to select, select all of these, right click, make group. Then I'm going to go over here so I get a better angle. And I'm going to put my motor in the middle of this. Actually, you can deselect the group, so it doesn't have to be on anymore. So now, now this is now this isn't a thing. Because so I've made this into a group, right? So when I move it around, it's just it's just there. I'm gonna put a motor on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my motor and I'm going to lift that up like that. And then I'm going to use my joint connector. I'm going to connect this with this. I'm gonna press play and it's gonna to move together. And the reason you need to do that is if you want a ball to hit it to see this, that it's actually not just a big box. In order to have it see this, you have to make these into different things or else it'll never see it. All right, so just make yourself a game. Make sure you use all three, three of them, the hinge, the motor, and the servo. All right, good luck.